Hello, hello, it's Simone. Today, Anna and I are going to do another two girls on a budget video. And if you are a planner shopper, you might know this. This is from 15 Prill. She is from Malaysia, Malaysia. And I just got my order in and it came really beautifully packaged. Anna and I are doing the two girls on a budget series once a month on the 10th and we choose a sticker shop um, that we both like and then we set a budget usually it's $20 and then we just go and shop there so this is how it came packaged with these beautiful doilies this envelope here says to Simone and then this is what the stickers came in so that is one beautiful packaging. This is her logo, it's called 15 Prill. And I will link all of the information in the description box below. We contacted her after we purchased our stickers and asked her if she wanted to use the opportunity and maybe do a giveaway or give a coupon code to our subscribers. And she actually sent stuff to Anna that Anna can giveaway so please comment down below and you will be picked maybe you will be entered into the giveaway so this is a beautiful little booklet that she made and that is actually what I'm going to use today to you decorate my weekly spread for the week this is a I think I didn't shop buy this I I really don't remember what I purchased and what I received, but that's what what I received as a sample or as a freebie. So this was included. Then I definitely purchased this die cut here. There is a little sticker book freebie included. That's so cute with 15 Prill flower unicorn unikins. So these are unikins. Then there is this, looks like a die cut, something like that. And yeah, that was included as a freebie. And so I think these were purchased by me. There is a Happy Mail. You can never have too many Happy Mail stickers. There's a grocery shopping one. There is a game night one. So you have these. There's chess what else cards then we have a sad one looks crying coffee because again that's something I was missing from my stickers a happy one pizza night one and finally a lunch one and the other things I'm going to use are everything that she sent me that came in the package maybe some of these stamps and then i just recently received this new stamp set from kelly perky i want to use that one i might use the valentine red ink from monteverde they sent it to me for as a trial version and yeah and then i pu pulled out the distress stain in broken china and this beats me shimmers inklings then I also pulled out the um, chalk ed edger from Prima and labels from Coco Daisy and then I received these sticky notes from my pen pal Marge and I really liked that pink speech bubble it seems to go with the pink theme that is going on <laughs> my eyes spread this week and because I knew I was going to film this on Friday and I didn't want to forget the things I needed to write down or wanted to journal about, I just used a weekly spread from Coco Daisy that I had left over from the November planner kit and just stuck it together with washi tape and then wrote my list for ev every day. And now I can just refer to that. So I am trying to use a doily. I am clearly not a doily person. And that is really, it's 
after this, I'm just not even going to try anymore. So I decided I would layer the doily with some of the envelope and I really, really love how that turned out. You will see later on when I'm... So every time I'm just writing something down or sticking a sticker on there, I rip a bit of the... Um, what is it? The envelope and it's it looks like craft paper and then stick it layer it underneath the sticker or thing that I'm going to put there and then yeah look just like that this is what what it's going to be I have seen other people do this before but I never tried it and I really like it and now I totally get why they do it so yes I let the um, distress stain dry as well as the color that I put on the doily and now I am just going to layer everything up the way I had arranged it previously. And as you saw me before doing before, I used everything. So the, the folder that she sent the stickers in, that is what I'm mostly going to use on this spread. Even though I didn't really intend to do that, it just happened. Um, I'm using the Shimmers Inklings. Those are shimmery watercolors as bullet points. I just recently found out that when you just do um, yeah, the hearts, that you can just do one strip at two stripes at an angle, look like a heart. I never knew that before and I love doing that. It looks so cute. So that's what I did. And I, as I said, I wanted to use the red Valentine ink, but it just did not really look right with this very rainbow colored color scheme. So I'm going to hold off on this one more time. And I'm going to use this next week when I do my journaling throughout the week. Maybe I'll just start journaling with the red ink and then look for um, matching stuff in my stash to go with the red color of the ink. This way around it didn't really work. Okay, so I'm looking for a washi tape that would match the spread and I find this washi tape that we received in the July Coco Daisy kit. It looks like mermaid scales, but it I'm not going to use that. Instead, I find this camera washi tape and I really love that. And I'm going to fuzzy cut the washi tape, uh, not the washi tape, the camera out of the washi tape. And I'm going to stick it there. It's not going to stay there, but it is a good start for my spread. And then I remember, ah, I have a washi tape where with suitcases. And since my son went to science camp and we packed his bags on Monday, that was perfect to put as a signal for we packed his bags. And then I had this really strange and awkward gap on the craft paper, so I decided to just add some washi tape. And then again, as I said, this is where I start to think that every time I'm going to use d do another topic write about another topic I'm going to layer some of the craft paper underneath and yes I purchased the 40 set of the Prima chalk edgers for this specific purpose for journaling in my um, what is this Midori weekly Travers notebook insert it they are there is a deal on Amazon where you get 40 all the colors that are from Prima those chalk ink edgers for about $50 and I decided to splurge and get this for my birthday um, because I really love stamping and I want to use more colors and those don't bleed through. It's really great. I tested it with those two inks. You can't see anything on the other side of the paper and that's just fabulous. 
So I cut out the stamping part because it took such a long time. And then I, again, I, at the end of the title, I added the another bit of uh, craft paper, some watercolor, the shimmer watercolor, the shimmery, and then I added this um, crying unikin. And then I, I, I noticed that I just don't like that flower there. It doesn't really work with the whole s layout. And I'm trying to place the camera on the other side, but somehow the camera is facing the other direction. Yes, call me strange. I, uh, this camera faced the wrong direction and I found another one on the, on the washi tape that worked much better for that side of the journaling. And so I put it there. And then I'm writing about the experience that I had when my son was at science camp because um, he's my second son. And you would think that I am quite used to the fact that one of them is missing <laughs> and <laughs> that I would be happy. And I missed him more than I missed my firstborn. I have no explanation for that. It's not that I'm happy when my first one is gone. That's not the case. Maybe, yeah, it's just, it's diff obviously it's different with every kid. I'm not going to interpret this in any way because, yeah, I love them both. And uh, I know that both had a lot of fun. They did not miss me, <laughs> not, none of them. Uh, but for me, it was a lot harder that he was gone than when my oldest is gone. Maybe I'm more used to him being gone. He loves going away from home. <laughs> Maybe that's that's the reason, who knows. And then I'm writing about all of my crafty projects that I did this, um, this week. I did not um, put it on a daily thing, so I just, I just added it wherever I wanted. So I put all the crafty things um, together, summarized them with the washi tape rolls that were there. And yeah, just Happy Mail was put together. The grocery shopping thing, I wrote down that I was such a very responsible uh, person because I went and filled the car with gas before it ran out. <laughs> and all of those things. And then I decide that I want to counter um, the big pink title on the top of the page with a even bigger title on the bottom of the page. I'm using this teal color. It's not quite the best match with the uh, broken china but it is um, the closest I could get and it doesn't really not bother me that it's not exactly the same color. And then I'm trying out uh, the word competition. I just used how many stamps I needed. And then I, after I'm done, I decide, no, I actually would love to have uh, some of the craft paper underneath. So I stick that there and I restamp some of the stamps. And then I'm going to add some this rainbow and some washi tape down there and call that cluster done. I am going to go back in after the week has finished and I'm going to write about the competition because my son, my youngest and my husband are going to go away for the weekend and once they are back home and they report back how their weekend went, I will then just go in and say whatever there is to say about it. And then I decide, oops, didn't I want to use those pink speech bubbles? And I'm thinking about adding one un down there in the corner, but I can't commit. So I decide, oh, um, I'm going to definitely add one up here because I'm giving that crying unikin a speech bubble say saying I miss him. And then I decide that I'm going to layer uh, one of the hearts that were on this folder as well. And then I'm just going to add that in there. And then I'm going to move on to the next 
bit of things that I'm going to do. Oh yes, right. I made some cards for a Coco Daisy project this past weekend. So last weekend. And I decided that I was going to not only create the cards, but that I was going to make an effort and get them all out of my house and send to people I care about um, when hold on I lost my my thought yes that I'm really making a, an effort to get them out of my house in a reasonable time so not that I'm going to be there next year and have five of the cards of the six cards that I made left I also wrote down what else I, I did this week and then I'm going to start working on the top right hand and I'm going to mimic the uh, doily embellishment cluster from the bottom left part. That seems to be a thing. So whenever I start a week, I just add a random journaling, uh, not journaling cluster, embellishment cluster to some place and it's usually the bottom left corner and then I'm going to mimic that embellishment cluster and the bottom right uh, top right corner so maybe since I said that I was going to start with the journaling next week because I want to use the red ink um, it's going to be different I will let you know I'm not planning on filming that again um, I really lo enjoy the fact that I can journal daily in this spread. It helps me um, be on track and be caught up with this journal. It's something that I really enjoy sitting down at night and just writing um, one or two sentences, not that much. And even if it's a lot, it doesn't, it is, con there is a space constraint constraint for this so that is it's really it just helps me like cool down at the end of the day so yeah um I, as i said i'm probably or definitely m only filming sporadically maybe once a month or once every every other month depending on how what i'm filming because I really enjoy journaling daily. And then, as you just saw me, I created this cluster there using the label and some of the washi tape and the happy unikin. Because even though I missed my middle one, I had some very good quality time with my youngest. And um, that is what I'm writing about here, what we did, the fact that I went to the bus stop with him every day and then I'm done because I'll, I'm going to leave some space for the weekend. Here are some of the close-ups. I really love how this turned out. I cannot wait to create more and I hope to you leave a comment for the giveaway for those really cute unikins from 15 Pril. Check out Anna's video. It's linked on screen right now and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, Bye.